Hello everyone, my name is Alexis and welcome to today's yoga ritual for rushing. (laughs) I don't know about you, but when I get busy, I rush through everything and it's not a great, not a great state to be in. So today's ritual yoga is to address that very problem. We're going to begin in Tadasana and you can have your hands wherever is comfortable. Um, You can have them at heart center, resting over your heart or palms open by your sides. Make sure your feet are hip width apart. Close your eyes and begin to breathe. (laughs) If you've been rushing, if your day has been hectic or your week has been hectic or your month, this might be the first instance where you've stood still (laughs) and really paid attention to how do you feel, how you feel in this moment. Rushing often comes from a desire to do all of the things and that often comes from a desire to prove oneself or prove oneself worthy or to be enough and while those things won't completely go away of course by the end of this class I hope that through the course of this class we can connect to our heart chakras Remember that our worth exists regardless of what we do. And give ourselves grace and allowance and permission to slow down, do one thing at a time, and do it well. Continue to breathe in and out through your nose. Today's class is very simple. We will be moving through five different sun salutations, but we will be moving through them very slowly (laughs) as a practice of being fully present in movement, in slow movement. So we're going to begin with two low lunge sun salutations. So come to the front of your mat. Feet up with the part, setting up for Tadasana, and inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, hinge at the hips, and fold forward. If this is your first fo- forward fold, bend the knees a lot, tuck the chin. How do your hips feel? How does your back feel? How do your legs feel here? Inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen through the whole length of the spine, as if you could get taller straight out of your hips. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, and step the right foot back, coming up into your low lunge. I'm lifting my arms up overhead. You can do whatever you want with your your arms. You can have them resting on your thigh, heart center, overhead, up to you. Exhale the hands back to the mat. Step the right foot forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, and send the left foot back into your low lunge. Now, there are ways to make these sun salutations more complicated. I want to challenge you to not go for the most advanced or most complicated version of these sun salutations. Maybe dial it back a step from where you usually go. Plant your hands, step the left foot forward, inhale, lift up halfway. Really cherish these halfway lifts. Fold forward and roll all the way up to standing. Inhaling the hands overhead, exhaling hands to heart. We'll do that one more time. Same thing, super slow. Inhale the arms up overhead, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Press the hands into the shins. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat. Step the right foot back. Come up into your low lunge. Let your hips sink forward. Drop into the pose. 
Let your hands come back to the mat. Right foot steps forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Again, left foot back, coming up into your low lunge. Drop into the pose. Let your hands come to the mat. Left foot comes forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Keep the chin tucked into the chest in every half lift. Exhale, fold. Push through the heels. Rise all the way up to Tadasana. Hands to heart center. Our next variation is going to be a slow version of Sun Salutation B which begins with a chair pose. So make sure your feet are hip width apart. Take a deep breath in and out through the nose. And then lift the arms up overhead and exhale, sink the hips down into your chair pose and breathe. You can have your arms lifted up overhead or at heart center, it's up to you. Rock the weight back into the heels. And again, drop into the pose, drop into chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant the hands. Step the feet back into plank and make your way to downward facing dog however you like. You can do chaturanga and up dog. You can do down to the mat and cobra or you can just move back to down dog. Go very easy on yourself here. (laughs) Treat this as an excuse to go easy on yourself. from downward dog bring the right foot up by the right hand pivot the left foot so the toes are facing out 30 degree angle and lift up into warrior one drop into the pose feel the ground beneath your feet feel the sturdiness of your hips the openness of your chest exhale the hands to the mat step the right foot back to plank make your way to downward dog Yogi's choice. However, feels the best to you in this moment. Be unflinchingly kind to yourself. Bring the left foot towards the left hand. Plant the right foot at a 30 degree angle behind you. Rise up, warrior one, drop into the pose. Once again, feel the mat beneath your feet, the sturdiness of your legs, the stability in your core, the openness in your chest. Exhale the hands to the mat, step back into plank, and once again, make your way into downward facing dog. And take your time, there's no need to rush. Especially between Chaturanga and Up Dog, it's so easy to rush through that. Go slow. Take your time. There's no rush. This class is less than 20 minutes long. It's a container. Lift up onto the toes. Walk your feet forward into your forward fold. Maybe bend into one knee and then the other. Make sure your feet are hip-width apart. Bend both knees deeply and lift up into chair pose. Make sure the weight is back in the heels. Maybe sink a little bit deeper. Drop into this pose. How do you feel here? Do your legs feel stable? Does your core feel secure? And then stand up into Dasana, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Two more sun salutations, and these are the ones everybody knows. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back into plank. Make your way to downward dog, but purposefully go slow. So I'm lowering through chaturanga pretty slow. I'm lifting up into upward dog pretty slow and holding upward dog for a moment and then pushing back into downward facing dog. If you're just coming from plank to down dog, 
take that transition really slowly. And then walk your feet to meet your hands into forward fold. Inhale, lift up, halfway. Exhale, fold. Roll yourself all the way up to standing. Bring hands to heart center. You're doing amazing. We just have one more round of Sun Salutation A. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees generously. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees. Plant the hands. Make your way back to downward facing dog. As slow as you can. (laughs) And that's okay if it's still kind of quick. It's more the intention behind the action as opposed to the result of the action. Walk out your downward dog when you get there. Walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. And roll yourself all the way up to standing and bring the hands to heart center. Well done. From here, we're going to flow down to Sphinx pose. So inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway, last time. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank, lower the knees, and then lower yourself all the way down into Sphinx. If you have a journal nearby, if you like to journal in your yoga, you are welcome to grab your journal for this next little bit. If you don't have a journal, just close your eyes and think on why are you rushing? (laughs) What can I let go of? If you have your journal, journal on those questions. Why am I rushing? Is there anything I can let go of? And maybe what you need to let go of isn't a thing on your to-do list. Maybe it's an outlook, a perspective, an expectation. Just spend the next minute or so journaling or thinking in your Sphinx pose on those questions. If you were journaling, finish your thought, set your journal aside. You can always come back and finish your thought later as well if you need more time. And from Sphinx Pose, we're just going to press ourselves up into a comfortable seated position, whether that's kneeling in hero pose or cross-legged, it's up to you. We're going to finish with a very short meditation. So when you arrive, close your eyes, drop into your body, into your space. And all I want you to do for the next couple moments is repeat this mantra. I have the time I need. I have the time I need. I 
have the time I need. Release the mantra. You can come back to it whenever you need. Take another deep breath in. Feel yourself in your body. What needs to be done will be done. On your next breath in, lift the arms up overhead and exhale your hands to heart center. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope this was helpful. If it was, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other ritual playlist below. And until next time, have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now.